Asymptomatic testing is important because most of the transmission of the virus is done by people who aren't having symptoms at the time. There's a period of two to three days before people who are going to become ill with coronavirus uh, know that they're infected. Uh, they feel fine, they're at work, they're at school, and they're shedding large amounts of virus. This is because the virus in that period of time has turned off the part of their immune system that normally responds to viruses, that causes to have flu-like symptoms, interferons. So the virus grows uh, really unimpeded because this immune system is turned off and it leaves us unaware of our infection. So it's important to try to understand how much virus is being transmitted in the community by doing asymptomatic testing. If we just wait for people to show up with symptoms, we'll only be looking at the tip of the iceberg uh, and we'll be looking at people after um, they're no longer uh, a danger to other people in the community because they, by that time, will be ill and will be staying home. So it's a way to find people uh, at a time when they're uh, likely to be spreading the virus to others. We've spent a lot of uh, effort to expand the ability of UC San Diego to do testing. Uh, before too much longer, we'll be able to do as many as 12,000 tests a day. Uh, right now, we're in the range of about 2,000 tests a day, and we're in a phase that uh, people who are employees and faculty who are coming back to campus uh, can get a uh, one-time test if they want it. Uh, we are going to be uh, doing uh, more systematic testing in September, uh, and as capacity increases go to regular risk-based surveillance uh, in October, uh, including all the students, all the faculty, all the staff, to try to really keep an eye, uh, an eye on how much virus is circulating in, in our community. The concept is that um, to make it as hard as possible for the virus to move from uh, one person to another. And the way we would do this is that, say you have a suite that has four people in it, each of them in their own bedroom, um, they would wear masks any time they're out of that suite. But when they're in that suite, it'd be like being home with their families. They could take the mask off and they could uh, be in that family. And as long as they are uh, wearing their masks when they're out of that pod, uh, out of that family unit, um, the virus will have a very hard time getting in. 